today I'm going to do a little test run of some festival makeup. This is kind of like what I kind of have in mind for one of my outfits, which I'll show you at the end of the video, like how it all looks together, makeup outfit, and my hair done as well. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to like brainstorm, and I'm also going to film a little festival lookbook video after this, so I thought it could be cute to like show you guys the makeup as well, if you know what I mean. So, I'm just going to jump straight in. I'm going to prep my skin first a little bit. I'm just going to use my Trilogy Vitamin C Booster treatment. It really looks it works straight in my mouth. <laughs> Ooh, don't talk to yourself while you do that. I really like this before. <laughs> before makeup. Okay, so I'm going to start on my eye makeup today just so I can make it nice and sharp. Make sure you've got your coffee. It's important. No, it's not really. I'm just like so obsessed with iced coffee lately. It's unhealthy. Like an unhealthy obsession. But hey, at least it's not like heroin or something. I am not going to fill in my eyebrows much today because I recently got them um, tinted and shaped by Benefit. <laughs> I love them. They're still a little bit dark, of course, because they're very fresh. So I'm going to go around the outsides just using vanilla. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Oh my god, I finally remembered the name of it. That's really good. So I'm just gonna like do this to sculpt them. <coughs> I've had this itch in my throat for like two days straight. Really hoping I'm not getting it sick because I haven't been sick in the longest time and I'm not ready to start now. See how much that just makes them look instantly filled in when you just kind of like, I don't know, shape them out of it. I'm gonna show you some of the like products I'm gonna be taking with me over to America with me for like my festival looks and just my everyday makeup. So yeah, this is like what I'm planning for EDC, Electric Daisy Carnival. I'm going in um, May to Las Vegas. So I might see some of you guys there. Lots of people have been telling me you're going as well. So if you see me, come give me a hug. I would love to meet you. And I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit because I will be using like a mineral foundation later and I don't want any harsh lines underneath that. I'm also going to run this just over my eyelids as my eye primer. This concealer is so good you guys. I love it. I'm currently listening to my EDC playlist. I'll link it below if I remember. Otherwise you can search shanixo-edc and it'll pop up. You can see some of like my favorite you know musicians, artists that are going to be at EDC. Thanks for that dogs. Well done. They're just doing such a great job at protecting me. I'm just running a little bit of this underneath as well because I might do some underneath my eye stuff. So for my EDC looks, like I want something glittery. <sighs> Seriously. Louisos! Cut it out. I also want something that is fairly quick. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be doing my makeup for hours. Like I don't mind spending like up to an hour with my girlfriends doing my makeup but I also just want to like hang out with friends and you know drink pre-drinks are important at festivals, otherwise I will not survive. Also, a lot of the festivals I go to are like two or three days and you know, you end up being hungover, especially on their day two, day three, and you don't want to be sitting there for hours <laughs> messing around like you literally just need to be done because it's a struggle. So I'm just going to go real simple and I thought I would start out with a kind of like mauve neutral shade because this is the color of my most colorful outfit. So I thought like this looks quite pretty together and the rest of my outfits are like either black and gold or like silver like nude as well like not much color so um yeah I thought this could be good and hopefully it'll suit like most of the outfits but this could be like my colorful festival look and then for the other days maybe I'll just do like neutrals with like gold glitter or silver glitter. I'm not sure yet, but if you want more festival tutorials, just hit me up because I can do some more for you. So this is in the shade Petal Pusher by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to push this into my crease and this brush is dirty and is putting a little bit of a different color into my crease also. So you know, it's like a little surprise. Let's be honest. You know this happens to you as well. By the way guys, I got some filler. Finally tried it and you guys may look at me and be like, oh, you look kind of different. Or maybe you're just like, actually, I can't see anything different. But I didn't, like, get any filler to change my features a lot. Like, I kind of just got a little bit to balance my features, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to link the vlog down below if you're curious. And please no hate. Like, let's just let people do what they want to do with their bodies. So, I got my Botox done as well for my jaw pain. So, I'm real excited for that to start kicking in. And I got some, like, hydration filler in my lips. These are still swollen. Like, once they go down, they'll pretty much look the same as my original lips like my natural lips 
um because i only got these done like three days ago but it's just to like hydrate my lips and kind of even out the wrinkly lines in the middle and i'm real stoked with my results so obviously keep updating you guys like as they heal some more i'm just like all for what makes you happy like if you want to get nothing done and you love the way you are that's perfect you can also love the way you are and make improvements to yourself as well like there's nothing wrong with it personally i just like a really natural result i didn't want to look different but if you like to look different that's like all the power to you like we all have our own preferences and that's what i say like just do what makes you happy because there's always gonna be people that are like oh that's disgusting or that's too much or oh, i hate it but at the end of the day like you like literally cannot please everyone so just do what makes you happy do it safely do it well and kudos to you so if you've got something bad to say about stuff like that, feel free to keep your opinions to yourself because honestly, you're not gonna change anyone's mind by like saying things in a negative manner. Like, it's not gonna change what's happened. Do you know what I mean? Just real talk here. So, once we've kind of got that on, I've just built up the color in that crease. As you can see, it's a little bit bright right now, but it's a bit better. Okay, I might just touch up this side a little more. This is my problematic eye. Like, there's this vein on this eye that's so dark. I can, like, barely conceal it. Can you see it just there? It, like, runs, like, right there. And it makes everything on this eye look unblended. Like, it looks like it's my eyeshadow. And I'm like, it's my freaking vein. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Pisses me off to no end. Now I thought I would try this matte and metal melted eyeshadow by Huda Beauty in the shade Wednesday. This is so cute. So there's like a pinky color and then a rose gold kind of shimmer. There's also like a more purpley one, but I just want to go a little bit lighter and more pink. Just because I think it'll look more fun. And I'm going to just paint this on my eyelid. I'll just see if I can do that blinky thing. Kind of worked. I like to have my mirror down here and I tilt my head all the way back and then I like look down into the mirror. And I actually really like these applicators for cut creases. Like it's a bit easier than using a brush most of the time because it's like just a stiff little, you know, thingy thingy. So you get a bit more control. So I'm just going to go like that. How does that look? Is that good? I don't know. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So just like painting on and like looking up as much as I can. Come on. It's like... <laughs> I can't get that like middle part. <laughs> There we go. I just needed to put more co uh, product on. My eyes are such different shapes, so I always struggle with this. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, just have fun with it. We're not all perfect at makeup, so you just have to, like, do your best and just roll with it. And I'm not too worried about that outer corner, because I'm going to try out, like, a glittery wing. I've seen a few people on Instagram do it. Like, I couldn't tell you who did it first or who those people are. But I've just seen, like, sometimes, like, instead of doing glitter liner or doing glitter underneath or doing glitter cheekbones, usually I do glitter cheekbones at festivals. Like, that's what I did at Tomorrowland mostly. Some people like do glitter wings so I'm going to try it today and that's why I haven't done my foundation just yet. So put that pink on. I don't really have a pale pink to set this with so I'm really just hoping that it'll kind of look nice by itself. I might just attempt to do one more layer on top and just see how that looks. I'm just a little bit worried it'll crack or go patchy. I'm glad I went with the pale pink too because it does seem to dry down a little bit darker. Of course the ugly side of my face has a better one. Like this side looks better than this side. That annoys me. Okay so I'm going to let that dry and then I think I'll do a little like stripe in my crease using the glittery side because you know how people do that with the cut creases. I'm going to do a little liquid eyeliner, well like a lot of liquid eyeliner, a wing, um, so that I can kind of lay the glitter on top of the tail because I definitely want eyeliner and I feel like if I do the eyeliner last it'll be really hard to apply like with the glitter already there. It's a little bit tricky to do on top of the um, pink, like it's kind of making it patchy so I might have to do a couple of layers. I'm not too worried about the wing because once again we're just going to go over top of it with glitter so I'll just do something like that. I've actually also got these like stick on face decal things from Shopo um, which I'll probably also like utilize like perhaps on like the second or third day when I really just cannot be bothered you know doing like really articulate stuff on my face. I'll show you guys those in the haul video. It's definitely kind of hard like doing a really nice smooth line with liquid eyeliner on top of the Huda Beauty because it's quite dry so maybe like on the actual day, I'd use a gel. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. All right, so for the glitter, I think this one would look amazing. So this is Glitter Gypsy in your dreams, Iridescent Mermaid Cosmetic Glitter. And then first I'm gonna use Afternoon Delight just to map out 
the shape it's a little bit more lilac this is by lit so this is shade i mean not shade size three which means it's quite chunky which is what i like i love a chunky glitter especially for festival looks and i'm just going to use these with my lit glitter base and i'm just going to use this eye definer brush and just start mapping out where i'm going to put this so i want to like join it up like this like i want to join it into the pink and if i go a little bit like crazy I can just sharpen it up with my concealer before we do the foundation so in the exact same on the other side now let's just see how it looks with a little bit of the chunky glitter um, on top as well because at the moment it's a bit too sheer like it needs to be more opaque maybe I would have been better off doing a proper like wing all the way up I don't know I have other glitters too this one's in your dreams purple unicorn maybe this would be better because it's a little bit more like opaque and less clear looking so I'm literally just layering all sorts of glitter right now, as you can tell. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I'm bringing it down onto the black eyeliner I've decided as well a little bit. You can see I'm getting a bit of fallout, so we'll just make sure to brush all that away before we do everything else. I don't know why I've got this crease right there of the um, pink, but anyway. Now I'm going to go in with the shimmer on this little brush, and it does look a little bit dodgy. I'll do our best. I'm really nervous this is going to screw everything up, but like crease a little bit i feel like if you have a pink eyeshadow put on top of this to set it down it probably would work a lot better just not loving how this is looking right now like i don't know what i'm missing hopefully once we do lashes it'll pull it together so since i'm going to be using a mineral foundation i'm just going to do my concealing before i do the powder of course i'm just going to sharpen this up so this one piece of glitter that's just like hanging out in the wrong place putting this anywhere i need extra coverage and under my eyes and just making that wing sharper oh that looks way better already and just popping some concealer on any big red flakes i have from like acne and stuff and i'm just using some super tempting face fixer especially on that eye area to try and make sure everything sticks down um and i'll just let that kind of sink in a little bit and then go into my powder which this is like just to go to you guys know if you watch my everyday makeup tutorial mineral foundation this is in the shade embrace it only works with me with fit tan on by fit cover before i apply this i'm just going to put on a little bit of a primer not too worried about which one i'm just using a covergirl one right now i'm gonna not put any under my eyes because i really should have done this before i did the concealer but i'm just gonna put it down the bottom of my face because to be honest this is where i get like the most dry and just because it's a powder foundation you know i don't want any dry patches of skin because that can kind of rip on with the foundation on top the glitter is kind of going everywhere so i should have also done a little bit of micellar water over my skin before doing this step but oh well i'll pretend like it's on purpose now with this foundation i love to use the kabuki brush by exo beauty and then i'm just going to literally stamp it and blend it out this also has like sun protection in it which is good for festivals because you know a lot of them are during the daytime and the sun is hot and damaging <laughs> i already put sunscreen on in my skincare routine in the morning but a little bit more can never hurt and the reason i like stuff like this for festivals like last year i think i used the nars natural radiance foundation which is really good long wear for me like it works well for me but this one here is like a little bit more sweat proof as well and just also really quick and easy which means i can focus more on my eye makeup and less on my base just to cut down time a little bit and then under my eyes i'll go ahead and set it with my bare minerals i'm just obsessed with how this makes my skin look i love it love love it i like this light on the side is so bright sorry guys i always am like trying to fiddle around with these lights to see what the best lighting setup is so i'm actually using bisque under my eyes instead of summer bisque because my summer bisque is packed away ready for me for my next trip this color is nice too it's just a little bit more pinky all right i'm just gonna place a tiny bit of cabral just in this eyebrow here where i've got like a little bold spot this is shade three as always and then to finish off my eyebrows i'm using my brow tamer this is more just to actually set my eyebrow hairs in place since of course um you know they're already tinted i could just use a clear one but i don't actually think i own a clear brow mascara funny how this eyebrow goes straight up like the hairs and this eyebrow goes like in line like why is that now i'm going to go in with lashes and my mascara so i'm going to use roller lash this is probably where i'm going to get a whole lot of glitter come off onto my mascara wand from off my eyelashes oh my god so much glitter if when you use that huda beauty as well because you get it on your eyelashes and they will clump together and it's impossible to coat them evenly with mascara 
all of a sudden. I'm just gonna do a very simple lower lash line. I don't wanna go too crazy. So literally just gonna like do lashes and not any glitter or anything down there. I was thinking of doing pink eyeliner, but I think I just like it nude. My outfits are very outrageous this year. Like I always wanted to wear real outrageous outfits to a festival, but I was always too nervous. This year I'm just like, you know what, I'm doing it. I'm just like no time like now, you know what I mean? And so I think I want to let my outfits do most of the talking. But I still want to have fun with my makeup because I love makeup. I'm just going to do like a couple of layers of mascara down the bottom so that my lashes still look like dramatic. Okay, now let's see how this look comes together with lashes. I feel like lashes are what's going to polish it off. But next time I definitely think I would do a really dark outer corner and put the glitter on top of the dark outer corner so that it's more dramatic. Yeah, I just feel like it's quite translucent like I could do more layers of glitter but it'll start falling off I've got exotic thing right here but these ones are like the most dramatic and I don't know if I want to go this dramatic like these ones are like very very intense if you know what I mean like I guess it's fun for a festival I just don't know <laughs> I just don't know do I just go for it I just don't know I use these lashes in my yellow tutorial as well I really liked how they looked I don't know I've been going more like not natural with my lashes but like a little bit I don't know no, I think I like them what do you guys think? Too much or good for a festival? I don't know. Alright guys, we've got the lashes on. I feel like it's much more pulled together. But I think we need to do some highlighting like on the brow bone and a corner and face obviously. So first I'll contour. I'm just going to use my MAC contour kit. This one. With a domed contour brush. And I'm going to take the medium, I mean medium shade, what? Middle shade. And just add some of this under my cheekbones. And to bronze, I'm going to use my Radiant Bronze Light because I haven't really used this in a little while. Just on a jumbo face brush, which looks like this nice big brush. And I'm just going to run this on my temples. You know me, I always love my very bronzed skin. I like to put it on my actual cheeks as well and down my nose. I'm going to go pale candy pink for my blush today. So I'm going to use this one by Makeup Geek. It is called Head Over Heels. Beautiful soft powder pink. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to pop that kind of like on my cheekbone. And it looks real intense at first. But these colors I always find kind of melt into your skin a little bit. So just place them on. Now I'll flip my brush over and just kind of buff it in. And it will melt in and not look so powdery looking. Like it'll just give that really soft pinky flash. Can you see what I mean? And then to highlight, I'm going to use the shade Sassy Grape from the Sweets Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just popping that on my cheekbone. I have some like glitter like caked underneath this foundation. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. I'm also going to take this colour on. Oh my god, my. Uh, so itchy. I'm just going to use this like side I used for my concealer earlier, my brow bone. And also just straight on the inner corner. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of brightening. I love it. Okay, now it's coming together so cute. Now, like previously, in previous years, I would have also put some glitter just down on that highlight as well. So it's totally an option for you. But like I said, I'm keeping it a little bit more simple today. I don't know what lip pencil to do with this look. How's this? You know what? I think this will look really nice. This is called Slow Burn by Marc Jacobs. It's definitely my favorite color. If you want something a lot cheaper, um, Michaela by XO Beauty is pretty similar. It's just maybe a little bit less cool tone, slightly. Can't believe how much more like hydrated my lips feel already. Like just after a few days. My lips get pretty horrendous, like real dry, no matter what I use on them. I think it's just that time of year. They look so smooth now. I could cry. Okay, so now we've got that. I just want to put a little bit of a pinky color on top. Just a little bit of Rescue Me, I think. Nice pinky shade. Pinky nudish, just to like brighten it up and give more of a creamy finish. That is a look. That combo, I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm feeling it. So let me pop on my little festival top to see the full outfit. Actually, you guys can stay tuned for my festival lookbook. Or well, that actually might go out first. I don't know. Whichever one's first, I'll link it below if it's already up. Otherwise, it's coming soon if you haven't seen it yet. Just do a little bit more setting spray. Okay, so here is one of my little festival tops, like, art for options. Now I have, like, silver shorts. You guys will see in the, um, the clothing lookbook thing. But I have, like, silver shorts I could wear with it if I want, like, some more coverage. Or I also have, like, this sheer kind of... Here it is right here. This sheer leopard print skirt, which I think I would need to find, like, a silver pair of, like, tog bottoms or something to go underneath of it. So, yeah, I feel like this is so cute. And I actually like my hair just like this. Maybe, like, waves or, like, this is just my 
blow dried hair like I could probably straighten it or like a low pony or low bun um the little clips in I also have oh my god wait these kitsch is that how you say it kits kits this is from her pony by the way and these necklaces right here are from Fawnstar these hair clips are just from farmers the kids section these earrings oh, Fawnstar or Glassons or something like that okay See, the more the merrier when you're going to a festival, like, especially EDC, like, electro music, electro dance music, just go out there, go all out, it's so much fun, I'm so excited, oh my god, okay, this is a look. Tell me what you guys think of this eye makeup, once again, I definitely think I would do a dark outer corner, but actually now I've got these, like, crazy lashes on, I feel like it's more balanced, whereas if I didn't do such crazy eyelashes, I think I would definitely want to do the dark outer corner with like a more natural set, like depending on my mood, but I, I'm honestly so happy with how this turned out. Everything about it, it's just super cute, so I'm so hyped. If you guys want another festival tutorial, maybe one with more face glitter um, and more of a neutral look to go with like my golden black outfits and silver outfits and stuff, let me know. This highlighter as well, I'm so excited, I'm so hyped. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, comment below if you are heading to EDC. I would love to see you. Um, I don't know where I'll be. I don't know what stages yet because the um, timetables aren't out or anything. But I'll probably be tweeting or Instagram storying while I'm over there. So if you guys are heading to the same stage as me, it could be fun to say hello. Thank you guys so much for the support. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Thanks.